So you've built yourself a nice shiny new Tailwind site, but now you need to handle light and dark mode. In this quick video, I'll show you how you can do that with Tailwind CSS. Okay, all you need if you want to code along is Tailwind installed correctly in your project. I'm using an HTML site. I've got Parcel as my bundler, but none of that matters. You can use React, Vue, WordPress. All you need to do is make sure Tailwind is installed on your project and you have access to your tailwind.config.js. So I've got my Mac settings open here and I'll toggle between light and dark. And right now, nothing happens on our site. Now there's two ways we're gonna handle light and dark mode with Tailwind CSS. The first way is the same way you'd handle responsive styling. So let me show you my index page over here. If we scroll down right here, I've used the screens. So I'm saying I want a width of half, which is 50%, but from the breakpoint or the screen XL, I want the width to be one third. Well, if we want to handle light and dark mode automatically, you take the same approach throughout your site's code. Now, all I'm going to do is apply some styling to the body because once you know how to do it, there's no point watching me for the next five, 10 minutes, repeat that same process over and over. So I'm going to paste in three styles here. And what I'm saying here is for dark mode, and that has to be exact. So that's not something you can make up yourself. It has to be dark colon, and then I want BG black. So the default, the light mode, I've got BG body for dark mode, BG black. I want the text to be white. Now that'll only work if I haven't set the text color for any of these elements. And then I have to make sure, and this is just to do with my own theme, I have to make sure that I have no background because by default, what you see here, and you may not see it on the YouTube video, is this fine pattern. Well, that actually has a color inside of it. It's an SVG image. So that's it. That's as simple as it is. So you would go through your entire site's code and just put that same stuff in place. Okay, so let's save that. Now what we should see is automatically when I toggle between light and dark mode, you're going to see our background change and any elements that don't have their color defined will inherit the white color from the body. Toggle to dark and there you go. And you'll note that text over there changes from white back to the black of the body when it's in a light mode. And that's as easy as the first option gets. But what if you want a little bit more control? What if you want to have a toggle switch where regardless of what the user set in their operating system, you can allow someone to toggle between light and dark? Well, Tailwind offers you that as well. So now we're going to jump into our tailwind.config and anywhere inside of your module exports, we just need to reference dark mode and that's camel case. And we're telling it to use the class option instead. Now, what this means is that by default, it won't do anything. So when I toggle between, let's save that. And let me show you. So with all of our classes still in place, if I toggle between, now nothing happens, right? So why is that? Well, now because of this setting inside of Tailwind config, because of that, it's gonna look for the class dark applied to the HTML element. So typically you do this with some sort of toggle switch, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna speed things up. All I'm gonna do is scroll down to this login button right over there, and we'll use that as our toggle switch. So here it is right here, login. I'm just gonna add in the class toggle dash dog. And of course, if it wasn't already clear, this class can be whatever you want it to be. It's not uh, Tailwind specific. Then I'm gonna open up my main.js. You can ignore this code over here. This is to do with the menu toggle. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pull out that toggle dash dog. So why that over there? Well, that's what we've just assigned to our login button right there. Okay, we'll call it dark toggle. And then to that, all we have to do is add an event listener, just like I have done here in the previous video. So on click, I have to pass in the event purely for this video because it is an href. So if I don't prevent default, the page is gonna try and reload. And this is the part that matters here. So document.document element, that's gonna target the HTML tag for that page. And then we're gonna just toggle the class list and we're gonna to toggle the CSS class dark. And again, that, that has to be exact, that has to be dark, that's what Tailwind's looking for. So let's save that. And now if I refresh my page, make sure I've saved my other pages, all good. So now when I click login, there you go. There's your dark mode, just like we had previously. And again, you need to still have that code in place, right? If I remove that, then of course Tailwind doesn't know what styles to apply. And that's how simple it gets. Tailwind offers you two different approaches, and the second approach gives you more flexibility, whereas the first approach just automatically changes.